Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning ma'am and friends I'm so glad you come to my video to see my presentation uh, done online Let's to introduce myself my name Okay, my name is Salima Sanda and PM H1 Medical Student Faculty of Medicine Bungkulu University Lecture Dr. Wisma Yunita MTD The title uh, This Obesity and Functional Classification in Children Next background Number 1 Functional Classification is a common pediatric problem in both developed and developing country. Number two, in the past two decades, the prevalence of obesity has increased worldwide. Number three, obesity is self leads to many health problems, including functional constipation. Number four, Study correlating obesity to functional classification have thus far mostly origins from developed country. Objectivitas Objectivitas to assess for a possible correlation between obesity and functional classification in children in developing country. Research and publication Number one, functional constipation is one of the most common gastrointestinal problems in children with around 3% of all the pediatric cases. <laughs> in the past two decades, the obesity prevalence has also increased. Most study on a correlation between obesity and functional constipation have been done in developed countries. Next. Obese children usually consume a low fiber diet and angst in less physical activity than normal wakes children. And this factor result in altered defects patterns. A reason for the take should they report a significant high prevalence of obesity in children with functional constipation. 23% compared to a control group in an ever uh, to increase children quality of life we are to assess for possible correlation uh, between obesity functional classification next methods okay one this cross sectional study was done to examine the potential correlation between obesity and functional classification in children aged um, 12 and 17, uh, 12 to 17 years. Okay, next participants were recruited by consecutive sampling from the Almuklisian boarding school at Batubara district. Next. Subjects were generally healthy at the time of investigation and had no chronic or acute illnesses. Children were excluded if they were malnourished or, or overweight and gastrointestinal or endocrine disorders, diarrhea, vomiting, fever, failure to thrive, fluid in the stool, or organic abnormality. <clears throat> Next, the subject was surveyed by questionnaire and direct interview to assess in the uh, to in to assess the incident of functional classification based on ten three criteria. Okay, the criteria consistent of two of two or four defecation in the toilet per week. At least one episode of fecal incontinence per week. History of written type posturing of extensive volitional stool retention. History of painful or hard bowel movement. Presence of a fecal mass in the rectum. 
and history of life diameter stool which may obstruct the toilet. The diagnosis of functional constipation was made when these criteria were fulfilled at least two of them once for week, once per week, for at least two months prior prior to diagnosis. Next. All participants underwent physical examination performed by a physician. Okay, next. Body mass, body mass index was calculated as body weight in kilogram divided by body height in meter square. Next. The wear process and analyze using SPSS version 17 zero software and present it in the test and table. Next result. Okay, from a total of 200, 200 students at the school, 45 children parents refused to provide enforced concepts, leaving 100, 105 to 5 children who underwent body weight and height measurements. Of these, 5 children were excluded because they were overweight, hence, um, number 150 obese. We individ subject into two groups with embedded functional classification. Subject characteristics are shown in table one. Next, two. Um, we also see it for a relationship between sex and functional classification in our study. See Cortes reflect no significant relationship between sex and functional classification. Table two. However, she square test revealed a significant relationship between obesity and functional constipation. Sabat so, three. Next. Razor table one subject characteristic. See? Okay, next. Okay. Result table two the relationship between sex and functional classification. Okay. See. Okay. The result table three. The correlation between obesity and functional classification. See? Okay, next. A risk factor for uh, functional classification also in construct to our result as UIs to define that girls had three times higher risk of functional classification than boys. However, under UI's, UI's study concludes that gender was not a risk factor for functional classification in children. Okay, next. Conclusion. Conclusion, always children have four times higher risk of functional classification than normal weight children. The prevalence for functional classification in obese children in our study was um, 58 percent. We also observed no association between gender and functional classification in children. Okay, additional study are required to identify other risk factors such as eating patterns and bang eating in order to improve our understanding of the mechanism involved in functional classification. Okay, uh, these result resources. 
thank you very much thank you for attention wassalamualaikum